Okay, so I'm in my car and this looks sketchy over here, but it is actually, she says it's an old man and he just owns that lot and he just parks his boat and a trailer and storage over there and he puts his around and that's all. And he's very nice and if you ever need anything, he will help you. Um, plus, if you needed to store anything, but this house does have plenty of room for a boat and a trailer on the side. So the road is um, kind of paved back here. And I'll have to look to see if it is public um, or privately maintained. I'm guessing it's privately maintained, and maybe that's why it's a little messed up looking. Um, so right now, you have got still some trees down from the storm. It's been a year, but most people um, are still recovering. Oops. And you have a golf cart. Hey. Um, so you can most, not most, but you'll see on the island. I mean, this is true island life. This is not Fort Myers Beach where you are partying and you have bars and restaurants and things like that. This is a true island life. You are out here, it's quiet. You are, it's peaceful, it's beautiful. It's very um, green, lots of green space everywhere you go. So, um, and everybody keeps an eye out for each other because it's kind of a small island. It's a small little here so but you can see the road is probably a factor if you're not from here you, this might scare you but it's pretty typical um, on these places in the back and you'll see um, the guys out working all the time so I mean they're coming as fast as they can I had to get some of the other areas done first so they're coming through so slowly very slowly um, cleaning out debris and whatnot but so let me see what else that that is the way home right out there you can see it from here is pine island road which is your main road there's a telephone pole so it's really not that far to get back here you're really on the main road 